Good morning, everybody. Thank you for coming to the Beverly Veterans Day online ceremony. Uh, my name is David Parenti from the Beverly VSO. At this time, I'm going to call up Sergeant Major Dijarnas to give the opening prayer. Let us remember before our God today, who sacrificed during times of war in order and we might have liberty and freedom and security. Veterans, both living and dead, who fought on land, in the air, and on the water. The men and women in labor and industry who provided the machinery and weapons of war. Let us pray. Eternal God, who alone rules the destinies of nations and who has deemed that men and women should live together in peace. We pray for those who fought a good fight and finished the course. On this day, we call to remembrance those who served in far off places and have laid down their arms to march into the land of eternal peace. We also call to remembrance all veterans who served in the armed forces of our nation and contributed to the greatness of our national defense. We are indeed grateful for their service and sacrifice. And if it were not for the men and women in our factories, our victories would not have been sustained. Keep sacred all their sacrifices in our hearts. Keep holy our course in your sight. Enable within us a flame of selfless, unwavering devotion to duty that we may never be found wanting in those qualities of spirit and mind which alone are able to preserve our homes, the peace of our nation, and the tranquility of the world. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Sergeant Major. Now at this time, we're gonna call up Senator Joan Lovely for, for her words. Thank you, and good morning. Veterans Day, originally known as Armistice Day, was first celebrated in 1919 to commemorate the one-year anniversary of the armistice that ended World War I. Congress formally passed legislation in 1938 designating Armistice Day as a federal holiday. In 1954, following World War II and the Korean War, Congress changed the day's title from Armistice Day to Veterans Day in order to honor all American veterans of war. In 1975, President Gerald Ford signed a law designating November 11th as Veterans Day nationwide. On Veterans Day each year, our communities honor and celebrate the bravery of all veterans who have served in the United States Armed Forces, whether living or deceased. According to the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs, Massachusetts is home to 323,253 veterans, with over half being 65 years of age or older. The Commonwealth has long been a leader in supporting and in honoring our veterans through comprehensive policy, and we remain committed to continuing that legacy. Beverly has, a long, has long been a great supporter of veterans. So much of that is thanks to the strong leadership and commitment of our local elected officials in Mayor Cahill, our city council, and our VSO Dave Perrin chief. And of course, we have to offer a special thank you to State Representative Jerry Paracella, not only for your military service, but for your tireless advocacy for, for all veterans with your work in the State House. To all those among us who have been part of the great brotherhood and sisterhood we call the United States military, our veterans, active duty service members, guardsmen and reservists, we say a collective thank you. It is your service and sacrifice that has kept our country safe and free. And for that service and sacrifice, we are eternally grateful. Happy Veterans Day, stay, stay safe and be well. At this time, I would like to read the proclamation uh, from Governor Baker. Commonwealth of Massachusetts, a proclamation. Whereas, since the Commonwealth's colonial days, thousands of men and women have served our country to defend, 
in defense of freedom and liberty. And whereas on November 11, 1918, the armistice was signed in the Forest of Campaign by the Allied Nations and Germany, ending World War I, the war to end all wars after four years of conflict. And whereas since that day, every November, people from around the nation have gathered to honor our veterans. And whereas there are approximately 363,000 veterans living in Massachusetts. And whereas today we are reminded of the great sacrifices and contributions our veterans have made to our country. And whereas we honor and salute those who have served our country throughout the generations with honor, patriotism, and courage. And whereas it is appropriate that all Massachusetts citizens remember the bravery of those who have served their country so that their dedication and sacrifices serve as a reminder of the cost of our freedom. And whereas in November 2020, the world will commemorate this 102nd anniversary of the armistice that en ended the fighting in World War I at 11 o'clock a.m. November 11, 1918, the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month. Now, therefore, I, Charles D. Baker, Governor of the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, do hereby pro proclaim November 11, 2020, to be Veterans Day, and urge all citizens of the Commonwealth to take cog cognizance of this event and participate fittingly in its observance. Given at the Executive Chamber in Boston this 11th day of November in the year 2020 and of the independence of the United States of America, the 244th, by His Excellency Charles D. Baker. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. At this time, we will now bring up our state rep, Jerry Paracella. Thank you, David. Thank you, Senator Lovely, Mayor Kale, Councilor Guanci. Certainly, these are unusual times where we have to wear a mask in public and uh, socially distance. But it's great that uh, the city and Mayor Cahill and Dave Parent Chief wanted to keep the tradition going of honoring our veterans here on November 11th. It's really important to do so. It's amazing what our veterans have done this year. When you join the military, you raise your right hand and you uh, take an oath to protect and defend the country against all enemies, foreign and domestic. Who would have known that the enemy this year would be an invisible virus? But veterans stood up to fight against that virus. They deployed in Navy hospital ships. They deployed in field hospitals. We sent our National Guard to the Holyoke Soldiers Home to help support that facility when 76 of our heroes died there in a tragic death. So veterans are willing to step up anytime, any place, whether it's an invisible virus or it's in, against the Taliban, against Al-Qaeda. So to all those who step up, raise their right hand and take that oath, I want to thank you for your service. Thank the city of Beverly for honoring and recognizing our veterans. And thank you to all those 325,000 veterans in Massachusetts and throughout the Commonwealth, throughout the nation who serve our country. Thank you. Thank you, Representative Paracella. At this time, we will now bring up City Council President Paul Quancy. Thank you, David, and thank you for giving me the honor to speak today. Every year on the 11th hour of the 11th day of the 11th month, we as a nation set aside this day to pay our respect and honor members of our armed forces who are still with us. While on Memorial Day we remember those men and women who have passed away or at some point in our history lost their lives in defending our freedom, today we celebrate and thank those real life heroes who are still with us each one with a story of service and dedication that needs to be told. Our veterans have been responsible for keeping our one nation under God safe for nearly two and a half centuries and have been a godsend to our allies and countries that have been besieged by foreign or internal oppression throughout the years. United States veterans have been responsible for keeping foreign invaders off of our shores and have made a huge impact in keeping destructive political ideologies such as Marxism, communism, fascism, and imperialism in check. Our veterans have fought in every corner of the world 
to keep or restore peace. Today I ask everyone, especially young people, reach out and help the veteran community here in Beverly. Give a veteran some time, listen to their stories, ask questions, and most of all, show them the utmost respect of any individual you can. Each individual is an important part of our living history, and those of us who were never put in the position to serve can learn the true meaning of our veterans' past services and the efforts of our current members of the armed forces that are so vital to the constitutional freedoms that we all sometimes take for granted. As always, I'd like to thank our State Representative Jerry Paracella for his service. Thank you all, and may God bless. Thank you to Council President. At this time next, we'll bring up the Mayor of Beverly, Mayor Mike Cahill. Thank you, David. Uh, good morning. It's good to be with uh, our small number of, of folks here today to, uh, to bring you greetings and thanks. Uh, you are veterans in our community. Uh, so good morning. I hope you're all well and safe today on this Veterans Day 2020. As with most things this year, our expressions of gratitude, remembrance, and respect for our veterans have to take a different form. I wish I could be standing together with you today and thanking you veterans in person for your service. And I look forward to next year when we'll be able to be together again. So first and foremost, to our veterans and our military who are currently on active duty, Please allow me, on behalf of our grateful city, and from me personally, to say thank you all. Every one of you has answered our country's call, worn the uniform, and sacrificed for the cause of democracy and liberty, so that each of us, and all of us, can continue to enjoy the freedoms and the opportunities we enjoy today. Your service and your sacrifices have always mattered, and will always hold meaning to all Americans and to countless others around this world. Thank you. Now I want to share a couple of updates. First, a big thank you to the members of our Beverly Veterans Council and to our, and to our veterans agent, David Parentchief, for your outstanding work and advocacy on behalf of veterans throughout the year. Recently, we met to finalize remaining improvements to the Vietnam Veterans Memorial Plaza, and we hope to take delivery and install the entryway stones by late spring. This memorial park is an impressive and most fitting tribute to the young men of Beverly who made the ultimate sacrifice for our country in Vietnam and to all our Vietnam veterans. Second, and this is something we need your help with, I urge any seniors watching today to please contact our senior center or my office and sign up for our Winter Buddies program. We want to talk with you, see you, and stay connected through the coming winter. As we all know, it can be difficult to get out during winter months, and having contact with others matters. We plan to make regular in-person front door home visits on good weather days right through the winter, as well as regular phone check-ins. We want you all to stay well and have what you need through the winter, so we can all see each other again next spring and summer in good times again. Please call us. We look forward to seeing you. Beverly's veterans, we know that this year and the COVID-19 pandemic have taken a toll on everyone, including many of our veterans and your families. So in addition to thanking you today for your service, we want to support you during this time. Please know that the people of Beverly not only value your sacrifice and service that you have made for our country, we, your neighbors and friends, want to be here for you and with you for each other. So we also welcome any among you who want to volunteer to make some of these visits and calls to our neighbors. We can make this a great winter together. Just let us know how you want to be involved. I know that our community of veterans and families of veterans care deeply for each other, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you all. God bless America's veterans and active military personnel. Thank you, Mayor. 
At this time, we'll have a brief moment of silence, and then Sergeant Major shall come up and deliver the final prayer. Sorry, Major. Let us pray. Our Heavenly Father, we ask for your benedic benediction to rest on us this day. As we remember those who died fighting to protect the dignity and freedom of mankind, let our hearts be compassionate and our minds clear and determined in giving them honor and respect. And let us be dependent on the loving kindness of our Lord, our God. As we remember the departed, let us be courageous protectors and true guardians of freedom. Let us be the true masters of brotherly love. O oh Lord, guide us in the way of moral responsibility. Enlighten us and make us true believers in morality and justice. Let this day be a day of commemoration and honor to all those who sacrificed in order to give us liberty and our nation's security. Remember them, O oh Lord, in your mercy and have compassion on us. Make us a generation of wisdom, discipline, and good faith. Amen. Thank you, Sergeant Major. That concludes our Veterans Day ceremonies online for 2020. To all of the service members who are overseas still, keep your heads down, keep moving. We'll be here when you get back. Thank you.